Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss about probability of simple event. So, how to compute the probability of a simple event. So, the probability of an event is a ratio that compares the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. So, by the way, kung babalikan natin yung video lesson natin about sa basic concept of probability, so, simple event, that is when an event involves a single element of the sample space. So, isa yung mga kuha lang natin dyan. So, now, uh, ano ba yung ratio na pinapakuha natin? So, ito lang yung gagamitin natin para makompute natin yung probability ng simple event. That is the number of events divide the number of sample space. Kaya nga doon sa video lesson natin, yung basic concept ng probability. So, dapat doon pa lang, uh, malinaw na sa inyo ang pagkuha ng sample space at ng event. Okay. So, again, yung event natin, that is the number of outcomes of the event. So, uh, nare-represent natin using this one. And then, yung N, so, minsan, nilalagay na lang natin dito S. No? S na lang yan. That is the number of all possible outcomes. Okay, first, uh, let me discuss the properties of probability of an event. Una, okay, a probability is a number between 0 and 1. So, yan lang yung class. Kasi pag nag-negative ka, so, imposible mangyari na magka, so, hindi ka pwede magkaroon ng negative, no? So, and then, hindi ka rin pwede lumagpas sa 1. So, in between 0 and 1 lang. Bakit? Kasi the closer the probability of an event to 1, the more likely that event to happen. And the closer the probability of an event to 0, the less likely to happen. Another, the probability of an event that cannot be happen is 0. And the probability of an event that must ha happen is 1. And if the probability of an event E is P, then the probability of the complement of E is 1 minus P. So, tatandaan nyo ito, no? Uh, kasi mamaya magbibigay ako ng example dito about sa uh, probability of the complement. Okay, for example number 1, a coin is to find the probability of getting ahead. Okay, so a coin is to find the probability of getting ahead. So, unang-una, ang gagawin nyo dito is identify natin yung sample space sa yung event natin. So, since isang coin lang naman siya, so dalawa lang ang makukuha nating outcome, head and tail. So, kaya yun ang sample space natin. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang sample space. And then, next natin kukunin is yung event. Okay. So, ano ba yung pinapakuha? Probability of getting ahead. So, head. So, ilan yung ano natin? Ilan yung head? So, that is 1. So, 1 ang uh, number of events natin. Okay. So, using the formula, yung gagamitin natin para makumpute natin yung probability. So, that is the number of event, which is the number of head, all over the number of sample space. So, meron tayong isang number of event, that is 1, at dalawa yung sample space natin. So, therefore, the answer is 1 half. Okay? Next, what is the probability of rolling a prime number on a number cube? So, ano yung mga sample space natin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then, so the number of sample space ay, na meron tayo is 6. And then, yung event na kukunin lang natin is yung prime number. And that is 2, 3, and 5. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong tatlong event. Now, compute it na natin yung probability of rolling a prime number. So, the number of event is 3 and the number of sample space is 6. So, that is 3 over 6 or 1 half. So, kailangan nyo ikunin nyo pa yung lowest term nito. Okay? So, I hope sa dalawang example nito, uh, malinaw sa inyo ang pagkuha ng uh, probability ng simple event. Okay. Consider a standard deck of card has four suits. Heart, club, spades, diamonds. So, each suit 
has 13 cards. Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then yung tatlong faces na cards natin. Yung Jack, Queen, and King. So in total, that is 52. So sa ibang libro, Ace, uh, yung Ace class, kinoconsider nila as 1. Okay, so depende naman kung paano sa inyo sa... Uh, kung paano sabihin sa inyo ng teacher ngayon, no? Kung i-consider niya yung Ace as 1, so, mamaya kasi may papakuha, no? May papakuha, let's say, add numbers. So, what is the prob probability na makuha yung add numbers lang? So, and then, kung ang sa tingin mo, 3, 5, 7, and 9, eh, kinonsider ng teacher mo yung Ace as 1. So, dapat kasama. So, depende sa teacher na. So, Kailangan lang maipaliwanag na maipaliwanag ahead of time na kay na i-consider yung ace na 1. Okay? Okay. So using the 52 deck of cards, a playing card is drawn at random from a standard deck of 52 playing cards. So find the probability of first drawing a diamond. So uh, ilan yung diamond natin dito? So, apat kasi yan, no? Apat yan sila, di ba? Yung forces natin. So, tig 13 yan sila. So, 13 yung diamond, 13 yung uh, hearts, 13 yung clubs, and 13 yung spades. So, ibig sabihin, 13 yung sample space natin. So, ilan lahat yung card? Uh, yung sample space pala natin is 52. Yung total ng card. And then, yung event natin is yung diamond. Okay, so ilan yung bilang ng diamond? 13. So, therefore, the number of event is 13 out of 52. So, pwede pa natin kunin yung lowest term nito. That is 1 fourth. Okay? Next, how about a black card? Okay. So, black card. So, dalawang kulay lang naman yan. Black and red. So, Kung bibilangin natin ito, so that is 26. Kasi 13 yung isang, ano, diba? isang suit. So, dalawa sila sa so 26. Ibig sabihin, 26 yung number of events natin. So, that is 26 over 52. The answer is 1 half. A queen. So, ilan yung queen natin? Apat, diba? Apat yung queen. So, ibig sabihin, the number of event is 4. So, 4 over 52 or that is 1 over 13. Okay, another example. 3 coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting? First is 3. Uh, unin natin yung sample space para mas madali nyo masagutan. Okay, kailan makita nyo yung sample space. Ayan, so ito yung sample space natin ng 3 coins. Okay, so kapag 3 heads what is the probability of getting 3 heads? So, ilan ba dito sa sample space natin ang merong 3 heads? Okay, isa lang naman. Ito lang. So, ilan yung sample space natin? 8. So, that is 1 over 8. Okay, so, kung ilan yung sample space natin, yun lagi yung denominator nyo. Next, 2 heads. Okay, yung may dalawang heads daw. So, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that is 3. So, 3 over 8. Next, meron lang isang head. Merong isang head. Okay, 1 head. So, 1. Okay, asan pa? Okay, so, 1, 2, Okay, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so isang head lang, di ba? 1, 2, and 3. Next, at least 2. Okay, so dito sa word na at least, so dapat maging familiar kayo sa word na at least. So, ibig sabihin ng at least, that is greater than or equal. So, ibig sabihin at 2 or more. Okay, 2 or more tails. So, bilangin natin dito ang merong dalawa at mahigit pa na bilang ng tail. So, ito wala. Ito isang tail lang. Isa lang din. So, ito kasama. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, 4 lahat. So, therefore, 4 over 8 or that is equal to 1 half. 
Okay, next is at most. Pag sinabi namang at most, so, ibig sabihin, less than or equal. Okay, pababa naman. No? Okay, less than or equal. So, at most two. So, bilangin natin yung may dalawang tail pababa. Okay, so, kasama ito. Kasi walang tail. So, kasama yung zero. One, two, three, four. Ito hindi kasama dahil three yan eh. 5, 6, 7. So, the answer is 7 over 8. And then, walang tail. No tail. So, isa lang naman dyan. No? ba diba? Yung head. So, that is 1 over 8. Okay? Another example. A bag contains 7 white balls and 11 orange balls. So, if a ball is thrown at random from the bag, Find the probability that the ball is green. So, meron bang binigay na kulay na green? So, ang binigay lang is 7 white balls and 11 orange balls. So, walang green. So, therefore, kapag wala, 0. Okay? So, how about the probability that the ball is white? So, kung white yan... Meron ditong 7 white balls. So, ang gagawin nyo, so yung sample space natin dito, yung total ng lahat ng balls. So, that is 7 plus 11, 18. Since pinapakuha lang yung probability that the ball is white, so that is 7, kasi 7 white balls, so 7 over 18. Okay? Next, how about the probability that the ball is not white? So, kung hindi siya white, ibig sabihin orange siya. Diba? So, ilan yung orange natin? 11. So, 11 out of 18. Paano kapag dinagdaga natin? If 12 red balls are added to the bag and a ball is drawn from the bag, so ilan na ngayon lahat ng balls? So, kung 18 yung kanina, plus 12, 30. So, yung sample space natin is 30 na. So, yun ang magiging denominator natin. So, find the probability that the ball is red. So, kung red... That is 12. So, 12, ano na, ulit, ano na ngayon ang sample space natin? 30. Okay, kasi dinag, uh, 80 na yung kanina, dinagdagan ng 12, 30. So, probability that the ball is red, so 12 yan. So, 12 over 30, o kunin natin yung lowest term nito, that is 2 fifth. How about not red? So, kung not red yan, ibig sabihin, white and orange yun. Tama, ba diba? So, hindi red eh. White and orange. So, 7 plus 11, 18. So, that is 18 over 30. The answer is, ay, pag nilowest term natin, 3 fifth. And then, kapag kukunin lang yung orange dyan, so, ilan yung orange natin? 11. So, that is 11 over 30. Okay? Next. Find the uh, probability of the complement of each event. Una, Rolling a die and getting a 4. Okay, so, isang die lang to. Kunin natin yung 4. So, ibig sabihin, pag kinuha natin yung probability ng getting a 4, that is 1, 6. E yung complement, probability of the complement plus, ibabawas natin ito doon sa 1. Okay? So, again, pag kukuha tayo ng complement, so, di ba, uh, kunin nyo muna yung probability Okay, nung binigay na event, since getting a 4, that is 1, 6. Since pinapakuha yung complement, so ima-minus natin ito sa 1. Uh, ima-minus natin yung nakuha natin probability from 1. So, 1 minus 1, 6, that is 5 over 6. Ibig sabihin, uh, the probability of the complement of rolling a die and getting a 4 is 5 over 6. Next, select a letter of the alphabet and getting a vowel so ilan ba yung vowel sa alphabet at saka ilan lahat ang alphabet, ilang letter sa alphabet natin 26 so ilan yung vowel 5 so yung probability na kuha tayo ng getting a vowel that is 5 over 26 since complement nga yung pinapahanap sa atin so minus natin from 1 So, 1 minus 5 over 26, the answer is 21 over 26. Okay, letter C. Selecting a month and getting a month that begins with a J. So, ilan ba yung, uh, ano natin, in English, ha? So, 
ilan yung J na ilang ano yung mga months na nag start si J so January, June and July. Yun lang tatlo. So that is 3 out of 12 or 1 fourth. Since kukunin natin yung complement, so that is 1 minus 1 fourth, the answer is 3 fourth. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.